Hi, I'm Anusha. I make videos related to beauty and lifestyle. If this is something that interests you, please take a moment to click that subscribe button. Also hit the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever I upload. Without further ado, let's get started with today's video. Today I'm going to be reviewing a new launch, a new sunscreen from Minimalist. It is their Light Fluid SPF 50 Face Sunscreen. They claim that it is a high protection, broad spectrum PA4 plus water and sweat resistant sunscreen. I have been using this sunscreen from the past one week or 10 days I guess and I have used it outdoors also properly when I am traveling I have used it. So I will be sharing everything about this product like the ingredients, the filters, the texture, how it performed on my skin and uh, whether you can use this product or not. So this the packaging is very similar to the dot and key packaging the dot and key sunscreens look like this and the thing with uh, the packaging is even minimalist launched the sunscreen with similar packaging and then i saw that wish care launched two sunscreens with the exact same packaging so i don't know is it like a trend or something when it comes to packaging of the sunscreens but uh, usually the dot and key sunscreens come in this packaging uh, yeah, that's with the packaging of the product and uh, it retails for around 499 or 495 rupees for 50 ml of product. I'll check the price. Yeah, 499 but they give a little bit of discount and uh, it's like 495 rupees for 50 ml of product. So it comes under the 500 uh, range of sunscreens and uh, now coming to the protection of the sunscreen it offers SPF 50 and PA 4 plus protection which is the highest UVA protection that we can ask for and this sunscreen is a certified sunscreen and they also mentioned that uh, the test which they are using to determine the SPF factor of this sunscreen is in vivo testing means it is one of the highest reliable testing methods available Basically, there are two types of testing, in vitro and in vivo. In vitro means they don't test on actually humans. They test on a substance which is very similar to human skin, but it is not human skin. It is in vitro testing. In in vivo testing, the product is actually tested on humans. So this product is actually tested on human skin and it uh, it has given the results of SPF 50 and PA 4 plus. So it is a uh, broad spectrum sunscreen and it also and it is also a certified sunscreen and this product is fragrance free essential oil free and non comedogenic product according to the brand in the ingredients list we don't have any fragrances or any essential oils now coming to the ingredients of the product the ingredients list is very simple and basic we don't have any fancy or any skin soothing or brightening kind of ingredients no sika no um, green tea or no niacinamide nothing it has basically some humectant some emollient preservatives some silicones and three uh, sun filters the sun filters i'll mention on the screen they are uvinyl a plus tenosorb m and ethyl hexyl methoxycyanamide these are the three filters that they have used two are new generation and one is old generation filter um, now coming to the filters the filters are pretty good two are new generation filters and the other one is an old generation filter and um, I think it's not pregnancy safe because there are some concerns with the old generation filter that they have used even though they are not proved but there are some concerns regarding the old generation filter they have used so if you are pregnant or a lactating mother please consult your dermatologist if you want to use this product or any product in general so that's with the ingredients of the product pricing and packaging is done now comes the uh, texture of the sunscreen the texture is exactly like a fluid i'll insert the texture shot here so that you can have a proper look at it it flows on the skin like when i apply it when i apply the sunscreen like that on my cheek and it flows like that so it is like a very runny fluid kind of sunscreen and it spreads very well on the skin like it spreads within 10 seconds i would say just one or two swipes and it's gone into the skin and it adds like good amount of hydration and a little bit of moisturization into the skin um, even after two layers I did not feel any greasiness or stickiness on my skin it is very comfortable it is neither too mattifying that uh, my skin start feels uh, it is neither too mattifying uh, nor too glowy or too greasy or anything like that it sits very comfortably you can think of it as a hydrating and a little bit of moisturization kind of uh, moisturizer how it feels on the skin it exactly feels like that and there is no issue of white cast zero white cast so uh, the, uh, any skin tone can use this product without the fear of getting white cast on the skin and uh, it also did not sting my eyes even a little bit I have sensitive eyes and I did not face any stinging with this product and uh, no peeling even after two applications there is no peeling on my skin so I would say 
a very good sunscreen because the ingredients are basic and good uh, the testing is proper it is certified sunscreen and it the texture is very very good it blends very well into the skin and um, it is it is not uh, not peeling on the skin it is not leaving any white cast and it comes under 500 rupees so i would say i am loving this sunscreen and uh, if you are someone looking for a good sunscreen from the indian skincare market then you can definitely get this one and they are claiming this as sweat resistant and water resistant sunscreen also but i would say it is sweat resistant um, um, it is not melting away with the sweat that i can say but water resistant i cannot guarantee like uh, it is not hundred percent water resistant i felt that uh, if you want to go on a beach vacation or uh, uh, something like that um, i would say it uh, it won't give you that amount of water resistance or if you if you are going out for swimming something like that so i would say it may not i am not guaranteeing that but it may not but it is not something very light that it will melt away with your sweat only it is not something like that it will stay pretty good on the skin but Coming to the water resistant uh, factor, I am not very sure about that. It may give you protection up to some amount of time. But after that, I think you need to reapply this sunscreen. So that's the overall verdict about the minimalist light fluid SPF face sunscreen. And um, I love it. If you want to get it, you can definitely get this sun. I'll leave the link in the description box. And uh, I'm coming up with more sunscreen videos and moisturizer videos for uh, summer. So subscribe to my channel and please hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any updates uh, from my side. I'm wrapping up today's video here. I'll meet you in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye.